Hey everyone, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought I would share with you guys some different books that I've been reading that kind of center around self-care or spirituality, whatever. <laughs> Before we start though, I need to make a quick disclaimer that only one of these books is an actual like chapter book. Um, a lot of these other ones are just kind of like activity books or, you know, daily things that you read just to like get my vibes up and take care of myself, you know? So with that being said, let's just jump right in. So the first book I'm going to share with you is the actual chapter book um, and that is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. She is the author of Eat, Pray, Love. So this is like her other one. I've never read Eat, Pray, Love. I really want to though, so maybe I'll uh, read that one next. But this book is really, really good if you're a creative person like myself. Basically, it's just about finding your magic and creativity and using that to do whatever you want to do, whether that be write a book, make YouTube videos, whatever. It can apply to any area in your life. And it's just really inspiring and really good and, I don't know, it makes me feel more productive and creative, so I would definitely recommend this book if you're into that. The next book I have my mom actually picked up for me and it is called Prayers for Healing. Um, now, I'm not a very religious person by any means, so when I first saw this book I was like, mm, okay though, but it doesn't actually mean prayers, it's just 365 blessings, poems, and meditations from around the world, so it's not uh, specifically from like the Bible or Christianity. Just you know, daily little inspirations. I usually try to read this in the morning um, just so I can start my day off on a positive note and kind of remember the lesson or the meditation thing that I learned from this book and carry it with me throughout my day. The next book I have is sort of an activity book and it is by Moria Seal, I think is how you say that. And it's 52 lists for happiness. This is what it looks like. It's really, really gorgeous. This book all in all is very, very aesthetically pleasing. Let me find like one of the really pretty pages. Okay, so the first section of this is called Reflect. So this is what the page looks like for that like little section of the book. But basically every day is a new list that you make and each section just kind of focuses on a different area of inspiration or happiness. <laughs> so the different sections are Reflect, Acknowledge, Invest, and Transform. So it's kind of like as you're going through this book and creating these lists, you're also growing as a person in these different areas. And yeah, it does make you happier and it gives you like little challenges at the end of each list. Let me see if I can find an example. Okay, so for example, this list, I haven't done it yet, um, but it says list the things about yourself that you don't need to change. And then at the very end of the list, it says set a reminder on your phone or calendar to reread this list on the on this day one year from now to remember all the ways that you do love yourself and are proud of who you are. So it gives you little like daily ta or weekly tasks or homework or whatever you want to... <laughs> So it gives you like little weekly challenges and I don't know, it's just really fun and super inspiring. The next book I have is one of my favorites and I'm very, very excited about it. Um, even though I just, I got this like forever ago, but it is How to Read Tarot. <laughs> I love tarot cards. I think they're so much fun and uh, they're just chilling sometimes. They really apply to your life sometimes and it just, when they work out the way they do, it's just, mm, it's so good. I got tired honestly of googling the tarot card specifically and like reading more general information so I saw this book at Barnes & Noble and I decided to pick it up and it is really really cool it has every single tarot card in it which is super fun let me show you like the index okay, so it shows you like where to find each card and when you actually do go to that card oh my god <laughs> It's not that big a deal, but I just turned to the devil card. So fine, so fine. Anyways, we can use that as a, an example. So this is the devil card section. So it tells you what the card is generally about. And then when you turn the page, it'll tell you how people interpret that card. And then if you drew that card upright, it tells you what that's supposed to mean. And then if you drew it reverse, it tells you what that's supposed to mean. Um, and this is just really good because it's very detailed and it gives you a really, really good description of what that card means in general and you can then interpret it how you want to depending on what you were trying to gain from that reading um, and you can just apply it to your life. And sometimes it's kind of creepy how they align and work within your life, so 
I don't know. If you've never looked into tarot cards, you should definitely try it. They're very interesting, and I know there's a ton of videos out here on YouTube about them, so, you know, I would say I would try to do a video, but I'm still trying to learn more about them. I don't feel like I'm very qualified <laughs> to do a video about them, but yes. <laughs> Maybe in the future, one day. And the last book I want to share with you guys is kind of like the daily blessings or whatever, but it is a devotional, but not a Christian devotional. It is an intellectual devotional. This is what the cover looks like. This book is so cool. I was so very excited when I found this because it's just like the coolest idea ever. So basically you read it every day. It has a little uh, section, you know, like most devotionals do um, except it is for intellectual things so each day is a different lesson which is really cool and they split it up well like there's one lesson every day but they split it the subjects up by days of the week so like for example Monday is history Tuesday is literature Wednesday is visual arts Thursday is science Friday is music Saturday is philosophy and Sunday is religion so every single day you're getting a new lesson um, and you get a different subject every day of the week. So it's really cool. Um, I'm learning a lot from it. <laughs> if you want to expand your knowledge, definitely pick up this book. That is all the self-care, spiritual, I don't know how you would label these, all the books that I read on almost a daily basis. I'll try to have them linked down below in case you're curious about buying them. I'll see if I can find them like on Amazon or something like that. But yeah, like I said, this was a pretty short video. These didn't require like a huge explanation, so I don't know. I just thought it'd be a fun idea and I've been trying to get more into reading, more so like the chapter books. So if you have any recommendations for books kind of like big magic or just like self-development, self-care books, please let me know because I'm always trying to get back into reading and just learn more you know if you guys did enjoy this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already and turn on the notification bell so you get notified every single time i upload a video which is every sunday but yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of the week and i will see you guys next sunday bye